Storm Tracker Team Forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, our biggest issue in the coming days is going to be the chance for some dense fog already underneath a dense fog advisory starting out at midnight and lasting through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. All that means is visibilities will drop to a quarter of a mile or less. And if you don't know what that is, just know that it's going to be very difficult to drive during those morning hours, especially while it's still dark out. As you notice again, also the chance for some light rain tonight. Tomorrow that fog burns off and we'll see a few spotty showers out there, mainly light. And then we do have the chance for a couple storms, obviously moving into late Thursday, early Friday. That will be our next cold front that will also drop our temperatures heading into the weekend. But until then, very mild and muggy out there. Visibility fine and full right here in the capital area, but a lot of areas along the coast. Visibility has already dropped to about four miles or less. You see the current temperature out there very mild at 74 winds out of the south southeast now at about five miles per hour. Still obviously seeing those clouds, but keeping away those showers. Most of that rainfall near the coast, and that's the reason for those cooler temperatures. Temperatures now sit in the 60s further inland. We're in the low to mid 70s and as you see here, temperatures will eventually drop into the mid 60s by morning. Look for some cloud cover and some light rain. We had a couple storms out there just along US 90. Most of those storms are sliding now to the east. Thibodeau, you guys get a little bit of light rainfall moving into areas just south of Laplace and then the possibility of a couple showers as we head into the New Orleans metro area. So for us, big picture again, a couple storms sliding towards the east. We may get a light shower or two going into these overnight hours. You see for most of us just some cloud cover, some fog heading into the morning commute as we make our way into the afternoon. The chance for some light rain. Obviously, we're not going to see much. We're only talking about a tenth of an inch or less. As you notice, maybe even a little clearing short lived on Wednesday as those temperatures quickly spike well above normal. We're talking highs, upper 70s and even 80s by Wednesday afternoon. So your chance for rain, a few showers tomorrow, drier on Wednesday. Look for some storms late on Thursday possibly early on Friday, but after that a much drier and a cooler pattern as we step into the weekend. We've got a couple foggy nights ahead of us, so be well aware of that chance for some light rain tomorrow. A couple storms on Thursday, and then as you see here, cooler weather. We could get those overnight lows back into the 30s as we step into the weekend. Tonight, 63 degrees outside. We're going to look for some areas of dense fog. You can always catch us on the radio overnight, and as we head into those morning hours and big picture here is looking at your seven day forecast. It's an extremely warm one to start out February 69 out there with the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms temperatures drop into the mid 60s overnight 79 heading into your Wednesday down to 66. Look for that high to reach 80 on Thursday. That puts us nearly 15 degrees above normal. And then we see that swing again with that next winter cold front arriving. Temperatures will quickly drop going into late Friday. By Friday evening, our temperatures could be dipping into the upper 30s out there. And then we'll be seeing some sunshine heading into your Saturday and Sunday. And here is your Skeeter meter. This is something new that we're going to bring you each and every day. This is from Salvent, and it's a forecast of how those bugs are going to be outside. Can you step outside and enjoy the weather? Well, We've got the perfect storm out there at this point. It's warm, it's humid, and uh, yeah, we're even going to see some rain out there. So it's the perfect breeding ground for all those bugs. And notice by Wednesday and Thursday, our mosquito population gets pretty high out there. But the good news is because of that cold front mm -hmm. going into early Friday, looks like we'll get a little bit of a break heading into the weekend. Right, Jesse, thank you. That, dip, that dip is going to feel really cold when we get back into the 50s. Ah, it's, a nice, it's way too early to be this warm. In my That's opinion. true. No, you're right. <laughs> but we're going to get used to it. And so when we get back into the 50s, it's going to be like a shock to the system. Yeah, it'll Perhaps. be a little bit cooler, a little chilly out there. You need a coat. I keep anticipating the cold now, so right. I'm not quite used to the warm yet. I like the warm. All right, <laughs> what's next?